one of my most favorite things has just been exploring in the small villages. Today is our sixth day on the Mehong Song Loop and we are leaving our homestay in the village of La Oop. We stayed with an amazing young family last night and it was a great way to finish our time on the loop and now we're headed back to Chiang Mai today. Bye! Bye. Thank you. Bye. We should have about a four and a half hour drive back to Chiang Mai today. We had considered taking a detour and going to the top of Do Bithanon, but we're trying to get on an overnight bus or train to Bangkok tonight, so we're just going to head straight there and see if we can get something booked. We're about halfway to Chiang Mai now and it's been an amazing six days on the Mae Hong Song Loop. The loop itself is about 600 kilometers long. We've made it a good bit longer with some of our detours. So six days really does feel like an absolute minimum. during dry season and we've had absolutely beautiful blue sky weather. This road is extremely curvy and really steep in a lot of sections, so I honestly can't say I would have much interest in doing this drive during the rainy season. But I've been really impressed with the quality of the road for the main loop. It's been very smooth and wide and incredibly well maintained. It has been a little bit of a different story for some of our detours on the offshoot roads, but this road is really nice. Despite the nice quality of the road, this has been quite the active drive. We really had to stay on our toes with all of the various road hazards, and this includes, but is not limited to, scooters. That is a lot of scooters. Cows. Landslides. Washouts. These are comforting. Potholes. Road trains going about 10 kilometers an hour. Cars just randomly being stopped on the side of the road blocking half the lane. People passing in every single direction. Oh my gosh. And just the general disregard for the line in the middle of the road. We also learned that Google Maps isn't exactly the most reliable source for getting around, especially once you get off the main loop. So Google Maps was telling us to turn right on this road. Which is dirt and steep. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, you turn right. Uh, no. Okay, it just rerouted. Um, hmm. Go that way. There's so much to do and see along the loop, and once you get past Pi, it really feels a lot more remote. One of my most favorite things has just been exploring in the small villages. The fact that we don't speak any Thai has really added to the adventure. The people have been so kind and resourceful. Just yesterday, we were trying to order lunch at a restaurant, and the girl actually called a friend on the phone who spoke English, and we placed the order for our food through him on the phone. 
it really has been such a fun challenge to work through. We always knew we wanted to explore more of Northern Thailand outside of just Chiang Mai, but we were really uncertain about how to go about doing it. And honestly, we were a little bit apprehensive about just renting a car and taking off, but I am so, so glad that we did and so happy that we chose the Mei Hong San Loop. It has been an incredible six days. I feel like we were able to get off the beaten track a little bit and have some true authentic experiences. And I have loved our time up in Northern Thailand. And now it is time to start heading south.